So maybe you haven't noticed, but I've been delving deep into the Power Rangers characters. In order to fully flesh out my ideas for a Netflix show one day, I need to do all kinds of fucking research. And it's been taking a while. From comic books to my own personal doodles and, and thoughts and ideas. This is taking longer than I expected, but hey, this is the purpose. First, the scientific method says, gotta ask a question, and then you gotta do that research. And that's why for this video, I wanna talk about the morphing grid. In Power Rangers RPM, Dr. K basically describes it perfectly. It's the discovery of a universal bioelectric field, an unseen energy grid that connects the life force of all living things. So the morphing grid is energy that can be accessed through some kind of conduit. So for example, Zordon has morphers and power coins to actually access the morphing grid. So it creates an entryway to pass through the grid in order to gain those Power Ranger powers. So in summation, the morphing grid is a cross-dimensional universal energy field, kind of like universal energy from all living things. Think of it as a cosmic life force that when manipulated can be used to protect life. Kind of like a built-in cosmic defense mechanism against death or anti-life in the universe. Zordon can access this cosmic energy field or morphing grid by using the morphers and power coins, which act as an entryway into the grid to become a Power Ranger. And voila, taste the rainbow because that energy creates the Power Rangers in all of their explosive goodness. But then if the suits are just harnessed energy, what's with all the colorful combinations and different animal and card forms? Well, Dr. K and RPM answered this perfectly. The material is a self-assembling nanofiber formed with an intracellular sheet of memory alloy. But what the fuck does that actually mean? Basically, it's manipulated field energy processed through mystic and technologic self-forming material with its own unique physical traits depending on the morpher used. But then what's the reasoning behind all the colors? Honestly, whether this is some color spectrum cosmology that is intentionally preset, like each color is based from within, some emotional or vibrational energy that manifests as a certain color, for example, red energy is always a universal constant for leadership, or whether it's just supposed to be fun and vibrant coloring, just like life is supposed to be. Life cannot be controlled, it's wild, unpredictable, dangerous, beautiful, and rare. Just like a box of crayons. Crayons with increased durability, increased speed, and also increased strength. The Power Rangers manipulate this life energy with their morphers to become enhanced beings, and that's sick. As described in GoGo Go Power Rangers number 2, Ryan Parrott does a great job of expanding on the essence and fundamentals of Power Ranger powers. Trini and Jason have a conversation while training. Trini says, When I'm a ranger, I don't just feel different, I think I am different. Stronger, faster, a little smarter. She says, I started martial arts as a little kid, but after I morph, I suddenly know moves before I do them. Kind of like Keanu Reeves downloading skills and knowledge in the Matrix, it's pretty rad. Jason then says something very profound. Maybe they download something into our brains like preset instincts or like a sixth sense. Now let's explore that. Think of this sixth sense as muscle memory, basically short-lived electrical events that are called action potentials. And these can be found in all types of different animal cells, right? And so if the morphing grid is some kind of life energy field, that's a defense mechanism to protect the Earth or all living life, then it makes sense that the morphing grid would activate these intracellular processes, this muscle memory, this sixth sense into the Power Rangers so they can fight so badassly when they take on the forces of evil. So, to quickly summarize, the morphing grid is cosmic energy from all living things. Cosmic beings like Zordon can create conduits, and then with those conduits, we can create the Power Rangers ultimate superhero team. 